New tonight, from shooting hoops to a long night at the hospital, Charlottetina is recovering after a run-in with a copperhead snake. It happened in South Charlotte at the young man's home. Good evening, and thanks for joining us after the game. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes of Queen City News. Anchor Morgan Francis spoke with the teen's dad about how he's recovering and what he's now learned after the whole entire ordeal. He opened up the garage door and waiting for him was a copperhead. 14-year-old Benjamin Levy went outside to play basketball Monday and ended up at the hospital instead. This copperhead snake bit him right in between the toes. He immediately grabbed his two-year-old brother and ran inside. He came running in and said, Dad, I think I just got bit and I looked at his foot and it was quite bloody. His dad, Joel Levy, knew he needed to figure out what kind of snake bit his son so we turned to the internet for help. I frankly posted something on Facebook that said, hey, just for verification, is this in fact a copperhead? After getting confirmation from the community, he rushed his son to Novant in Matthews, where they thankfully had a supply of anti-venom. The only catch? It was $15,000 per vial, um, and you get a minimum of four vials and a maximum of six. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a $60,000 treatment. I mean, the family made the easy decision to administer the treatment and settle the rest with insurance later on. According to the World Animal Foundation, they're not the only ones who get surprised by snakes. Annually, 7,000 to 8,000 Americans are bitten by them, with 5 to 10 of those being fatal. North Carolina has the highest bite rate in the country. Levy says he hopes his family's ordeal is a reminder to others that venomous snakes exist in the Carolinas and a reminder to his kids as well. I continuously tell my children, and I have six, they need to close the garage door because I say snakes will want to go inside. And I say, hey, if you're going to go outside and you, you, need, you need to wear shoes. My son, he's taken this in very good humor, has laughed and said, I guess, Dad, you were right. Morgan Francis, Queen City News.